Hi Pisces, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of January 10th through January 16th of 2021. So energy of the week, it looks like you have number 34, door to personal healing and happiness. So it's come up a couple times so far doing the readings this week. So I feel like a lot of the zodiac signs are experiencing a lot of healing. Um, so really not too shocked to... Um, see that coming in with all the energy that's been coming in that's kind of what we've been leading up to right is once we've accepted um, the changes we get to a healing point and I feel like that is what is happening um, I do feel like that healing could be causing some sort of um, happiness clearly it's less stress like you're less things to worry about less on your shoulders all right Pisces a challenge or obstacle that you might face this week you have the sun and then a lesson already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle. You have the Six of Pentacles. And the outcome of the week, you have the Two of Swords. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. So, the happiness, the personal happiness is the sun. So, with the energy of the week being door to personal happiness, that tells me um, that you that it could be something blocking your door. Um, if you can see that the window is open, the doors are open here, and it's ready for you to go out um, so that you can reach that healing and that personal happiness. So I feel like that's the energy. That's what you're reaching for all week. It is a challenge or obstacle because you do have the sun, which is about happiness, joy, healing, that kind of thing. Um, so with that being in your challenge or obstacles, I feel like that is what you're working on this week, Pisces. A lesson that you've already learned that can help you um, with this obstacle, you have the sun. I mean, I'm sorry, you have the six of pentacles. And so the six of pentacles is about like balancing your give and take. Um, it could also be, you can see that the man is like offering the coins to the people that have their hand out. So it looks like they need help. So it could also be that someone is helping you this week. And I feel like that is what's happening. Um, I feel like someone is going to help you um, be able to clear this path so that you can walk out this door here. And what's gonna, what it's going to take or the outcome of the week, you have the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is that there's a decision that needs to be made. So to me, the Two of Swords sometimes feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. But it's about you're not really stuck. It's about that there's this expanded water behind her and she can just... Um, choose right but she's she's feels like she's blindfolded you see the blindfold on her it does to me always look like she can see underneath that blindfold um in this picture but it is meaning that there's a decision that you needed to be to make i mean you haven't been making it and um, there's really nothing holding you back from making it other than you um, and I feel like that is what's happening at the end of this week. Someone's going to help you be able to make some sort of decision. And you're going to be able to walk through that door of personal healing and happiness. All right, Pisces. Um, our guidance cards this week come from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Um, I've been pulling two of them for all the signs. Uh, real quick, I just want to mention for someone out there, make sure that you're watching your sun and moon and rising. Um, and other ones, you know, if you want to watch for whatever is in your birth chart, it's supposed to make like a storyline. Um, I feel like someone needed to hear that. So make sure that if you're watching this Pisces because it's your sun sign, uh, make sure you're watching your moon sign. If you don't know what your birth chart is, please just send me an email. I've sent the link out several times for several people for a free birth chart. Um, you just put your information in and it gets it. I mean, it's simple stuff like it was the day you were born and where you were born at in the time and it will give you like your astrological chart of when you were born so that you know what videos uh to watch all right pisces so we're going to do beginning of the week and end of the week all right so you have focus so there's something you're needing to focus on um i feel like it's saying that um, in the picture, you see that it looks like there's a circle, a globe around her. Um, it's filling up with water. Um, so like the bottom half from her nose down is filled up with water. And then the top half, of course, is not filled up yet. So for someone, I feel like that is particularly meaning that someone, um, not necessarily drowning, but um, um, not rising. Um, so I feel like it's telling someone here that they need to focus um, so that they can rise because that's what we're all doing, right? We're all ascending, we're all rising, we're all awakening. Um, and I feel like someone is hindering that. Uh, their focus is in the wrong place is what I'm getting. And then you have fear. 
So fear, of course, is where um, something is blocking you because you're scared of it. A lot of times that's change, which is what the Two of Swords means. Um, there's change or some decision makes uh, being made that's going to bring some sort of change. Um, so you have some sort of fear with that change. Um, Pisces, I just want to say that everyone's um, life has really, 2020 really shook everybody up. It's really... And bringing us all to an awakening period um, and it's very much uh, kind of putting us back on the correct path that we were supposed to be on because we veered so far off our life purpose path and it's bringing a lot of fear to a lot of people and I, I think it's just saying that you need to focus um, and don't have fear be have faith in the universe that they're going to take you um, where you're, it is that you're supposed to be and then lastly, I do want to do a Moonology Oracle. And this is just to help with your emotions. It is really emotional time right now. We do have that new moon in Capricorn coming in on Wednesday. Um, so you have the full moon surrender to the divine. So I do feel like there is some sort of surrender that needs to happen here. Um, you have fear and you're kind of holding on to something really tightly. As soon as you're able to make this decision and let this go, Pisces, I feel like that is where it's going to lead you to that door of personal healing and happiness. All right, Pisces, I feel like that is your guidance for the week. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if this feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.